Hey guys, what's up? Liam here, back again. After my recent Halo Infinite video showing off how it does now work on the Steam Deck with Proton Experimental, a few of you in the comments and across other places asked to see the actual open world for performance because it is harder on the system, which is fair enough. For the open world, you will absolutely need to turn down some of the settings. I should note, of course, that the work going on in Proton to fix up Halo Infinite is not finished, and it's probable it will get better over time. I should note as well, for the direct capture where I'm using a capture card to grab the whole thing, the visuals look stretched, they don't look nearly as good as they would directly on the Steam Deck screen, because it is being stretched to 1080p. In this first clip, I will show you what settings I'm actually using, so that you can get a good idea of it. And then once we've shown the settings for a minute, what I'm going to do is give you just a rough video of Halo Infinite from my camera, just pointed at the deck, so you can just see how it looks on the deck. Now on the deck screen directly, I actually think even with these settings, it looks really great. And playing it in handheld mode, I'm actually having a huge amount of fun. Driving around, running over grunts and accidentally driving off cliffs and you know. The main thing that I wanted to show with this video though is just the performance as it stands right now. So with the settings I've picked, it is mostly playable and enjoyable, but it does have some noticeable drops still. And there are still some graphical glitches to be worked out, which I mainly saw during cutscenes. So you've had some footage of it pointed at the deck, but now we're going to switch over to the direct capture, just so that we can show the expected performance on Proton Experimental. Keeping in mind what I mentioned earlier, this is being stretched a bit to 1080p, so it does not look nearly as good as on the deck screen. You're going to need to hear me somewhere to land. Incoming.
the last of them. Is it safe? Is anything? Don't answer that. If you can find me somewhere to hack in, I think I can guarantee this base will be safe for your friend to land. Let me see. The Banished are using a modification of the Covenant's Battle.net protocol. Pretty easy to push through, and done. I've removed this location from their system. We're safe here. LZ secure. much chatter on all banished channels. I keep hearing the tower. It's probably the main structure we saw as we flew in. Look down there. We're close to the fog we detected. You take out those monsters, get me to that terminal, and I'll show what I can do. Now to business. Let's lock down Fob Golf. Let me see. Yes, I was right. All I need to do is chat with the banished security protocol. And by chat, I mean push it out of the way because it is really not smart. And there, we now have ourselves a second Fob. Was that you? Oh, I like found it. We're sitting ducks out here. up on that outpost we learned about at the FOB. Looks like some kind of salvage operation. What's our move? Shut it down. up a UNSC distress signal. The signature suggests a squad of Marines. Alive. No response on comms, but if they are, it's a sure bet they need our help. Let's find them. Hey. It's gonna go down! It's down! saved a lot of lives today. These Marines are in your debt. Lead the way, sir. Chief. I'm picking up a UNSC distress signal not far from this location.
Chief, enemy reinforcements. UNSC lost so many on this ring, but now that you're back, they've got a fighting chance at survival. Shotgun! Where are we going, sir? You got it. On your six. I'm in. Let's move. The man himself. I don't like to... Do you hear that? It's coming from that communication tower. Target down, we're taking fire. 